Twitter is warning certain users their accounts may have been targeted by state-sponsored hackers. The notice says the attackers may have been trying to get information like email addresses, IP addresses, and phone numbers. CNET News Executive Editor Ian Shear is here with more on this mysterious cyber threat. When they say state-sponsored, do we know which state? We don't. We actually know very little about this whole thing that's gone on. But what we do know is that a number of countries have really built up their capabilities in terms of hacking and in terms of being able to attack all of these types of networks. And we know also that a lot of the people who said that they received these alerts were, were cybersecurity and privacy researchers, which means that this was a state-sponsored hacker who was focused specifically on people who are trying to help possibly free speech movements and whatnot. Um, but Twitter hasn't been saying much else about this. And the hacker, the cybersecurity researchers themselves have basically all they know is what Twitter told them and nothing else. All we know is that Twitter says that these alerts were real, that the emails these people received were authentic, and that they're responding to it all, and that's it. Who, who, who's getting these alerts that they may have been hacked? Well, it's, it's primarily, like I said, cybersecurity researchers and privacy researchers, which are people who build a lot of software and tools to help people uh, particularly be able to go around online and, uh, anonymously. But also a lot of it has turned into the free speech movement that has been going around, this, around the world, right? You've got the Arab Spring and you've got all these other things that have happened where people really weren't able to even communicate without these types of tools. And so now you have these people basically potentially being attacked online by state-sponsored hackers, which is really fascinating. And how much information can, can they really get from somebody's Twitter account? Well, Twitter accounts, especially when it comes to these types of people, are usually anonymous. You don't know who these people are. They're often kept behind a veil of secrecy because these, these things are not popular with a lot of governments. Governments don't want people to have free speech like this in a lot of places throughout the world. And so if you get any information about these people, be it their phone numbers, their IP addresses, which allow you to maybe figure out who their internet connection is from and then be able to find them, all of these things could be very dangerous, particularly for very successful privacy advocates. And so that's what they're worried about is really these people being able to be unmasked and potentially attacked or, or somehow hurt in some way because of all this. And can Twitter do anything about it? The only thing Twitter can do is what they've done. They've alerted these people to it. They, they suggested some ways for these people to protect themselves, which are very standard, normal ways that we all know of. For example, there's this uh, system called Tor, which was originally created by the government to help protect people and, and, and anonymize all of their Internet connections. But there isn't much else Twitter can do other than to warn these people that it's coming and you know, alert them whenever things happen that are like this. Ian, it's great to talk to you. Thank you. My pleasure.